This is a special edition of Spotlight, Women Tech Makers series on career and professional development. I'm Caitlin, and today I'm handing it over to my co-host Laksha, who's joining us from India. Laksha, take it away. Good afternoon. I am Laksha Shivram Krishnan, and I manage the Women Tech Makers program for India. Today, the spotlight is on Geeta Kannan, the CEO and founder of Vequity. Geeta Kannan is a versatile entrepreneurial leader and a pioneer for the women in IT movement in India. With over 30 years of global experience spanning business, technology, and people, her focus has always been to raise the bar, build teamwork, and drive far-reaching impact. Geeta credits much of her progress to learning, opportunities, and a supportive environment, and is compelled to make this a norm for all women in technology. Geeta's vision is to holistically provide high quality, integrated and accessible resources to expand quality of outcomes for women and their network supporters in technology. Thank you so much for joining us, Geeta. Thank you, Lakshya. You've spent about two decades in the corporate sector and about a decade as an entrepreneur. Is there anything you wish you knew when you were starting out? I think um, being a woman of technology, the first thing I would say that I wish there was Google when we were all starting. Um, that's on a lighter note, because I think today's world, you have um, such a lot of information and data on hand to help you drive your decisions. You have the power of building a community and network from which you can learn. So it's not um, limited to the people you know or the people who are your immediate family or your surroundings. So I think that's a great thing. That's what happened um, in now. And I think if we had all access to that when we were growing up, some of the decisions we did or some of the ac actions that we did or the opportunities that came our way might have been different. Geeta, the latest addition um, to the feathers in your cap is Vequity. Uh, what are some of the principles on which Vequity was built? Well, Vequity is a social impact company. And the question is always why Vequity? So I'll first start with um, the name itself, because um, if you look at the, at the logo that we had designed for ourselves, one of the things that we insisted on is that it has to be welcoming, warm, and also give the feel that you can grow by just being a part of equity. So if you look at why the name came about is W actually stands, of course, for women. And equity is because I feel personally that if you want equal opportunities and an equality in the end of the day, it's not enough if we give equal opportunities. And a lot of people are under the misconception that equal opportunities will get you to equality. But my um, basic premise on, and on creating this whole company was that it's based on equity, the principles of equity. And if you give the principle of equity and agency to every person who's there, um, in the community, what will result is that there will be equality in the end, because equal opportunities generally means that, you know, you give the same thing to everyone and expect everybody to get the same result. But when you give equity, it means you give different things to different people. So it's a little like customizable solutions so that everybody gets what they want as a goal in the end. And that results in equality. That's the first principle of equity, which is equity. And the second one is um, because it's a social impact company, the whole um, feeling is a driving force can only happen if we all collaborate and work together so that there is a true difference that happens. Not one person um, really professing what has to be done or one organization. Everybody in this eco space has to work together so that we can actually move the needle truly and create equality for gender very, very soon. And uh, if you were to po put a finger to one learning um, that you experienced while you were navigating through your career in the past 30 years, what would that be? I would actually answer this um, in two ways. One is personally what I've learned. 
And then what I've learned that I should do um, if I really want to take this uh, movement forward. So one of the things that I've personally learned, it, the best um, thing is being in this space of technology that one has to continuously learn. Um, and to continuously learn, it also means that um, you should be open to networks. You should be confident of yourself. It also means that you should ask for help when you need it. So it all bundles up into that whole need for learning. And this learning means that you have to be really not with the learning curve, but ahead of the learning curve just to stay relevant. Um, that's one aspect from my personal side. But if you look at um, the holistic um, perspective that is needed for ensuring that we truly bring about equality for women um, in the tech space is one thing I've learned. Um, this is actually from one of the books, um, you know, Braiding Grass, um, where, they, where they say that, you know, there was a, somebody who came to help um, uh, people. So in Braiding Sweet Grass, they say that a person comes to help the indigenous tribes to harvest better and what happens is and the whole concept is um you know they they actually um, move the harvesting from you know just losing 15 uh, about 85 percent of the grain to about 15 percent of the grain and he thinks um that they've done a great job and goes and presented presents this um results to the um elders in that tribe and the elders in the tribe come back and say you know what we actually deliberately allow the grains to fall because we are supporting the entire ecosystem in the lake. Um, so when we are harvesting, we, we feed the fish, we feed the ducks, we feed the swans and we feed the birds. And that's why we allow it to happen. And that makes me step back and think, you know, sometimes when we go ahead and rush ahead with solutions, it doesn't help everybody. And that's why when Wekwit was formed, one of the things is, is we are not only going to help women, but we want an entire ecosystem to be helped because different perspectives will give a much better, better result than what we've got till now. Yeah, absolutely, Geeta. Uh, can't agree with you enough. Um, Geeta, my last question for you is um, Google's Women Tech Makers is focused on building an ecosystem where all women can thrive in technology. And the spotlight is on you today. From your experience in the industry, what would you say is needed to make this happen? Um, this is one of the things that I got from my mentor when I was at Infosys. And one is you have to, it, it's like a, if you have a huge cauldron or a pitcher and um, there is a leak, one thing is you have to keep rapidly filling the cauldron or the tank. But the other fact is also you have to stop the leak. So I think that's one of the things that as an industry we have to look for is to how we can plug the leaking pipeline in terms of policies, in terms of um, very family friendly uh, practices that organizations follow and have a true sense of inclusion that um, where there is commitment from top management to how they view equality and how they view gender equality in particular. Thank you. Thank you so much, Geeta. Um, thank you for joining us. And it was an absolute pleasure to be speaking to you as a part of the Spotlight series. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lakshya. I think it was an honor and privilege on my part also to be part of the Spotlight. Thank you so much. Thank you.